What's going on guys? Tech Hobbyist here. In this tutorial, what we're going to look at is how to migrate an existing Android Studio project to Android X. So I'm sure you guys are wondering what Android X is all about. That's how come you're watching this video. Android X is not really anything odious or complicated or complex. It's just a major improvement to the original Android support library. So uh, with Android X, you are moving from App Compact support to Android X. That's what Android X is all about. And with Android X like this, we use the semantic versioning. That is the major, the minor, and the patch. So let's say we have version 1.0.1. .1. The one, the first one is the major version. The second zero is the minor version, and the last one is the patch version. So the cool thing about Android X is that you can actually update your Android X libraries individually. So for example, if let's say um, comparing supports library to Android X library, if you have something like this here, version 28.0.0, .0, you need to update the other ones. So you need to also update design to also have version 28.0. And then if there's another library, you need to also update that to have version 28.0. But with Android X, you can update them individually. You don't need to update all projects, all libraries to have the same version. That's the cool thing about Android X. So now let's look at how to migrate our project to Android X. So the first thing you need to know about your project is that your project needs to support um, compiled SDK version 28 and higher. So I already have compiled version as 28 and also my target SDK version is also 28. So the next thing you need to do is that you need to head on head on to the greater dot properties file and then you need to add these two items to your properties file. But then in order to migrate your project to Android X, your Android Studio should be version 3.2 or higher. Or you wouldn't be able to see there's there's a setting in Android 3.2, Android Studio 3.2 that will allow you to easily migrate your project to Android X. So I need to include this into my project and also include this into my project. So we have Android enabled Jetify. We are setting that to true. What is that is that any dependencies, any third party libraries that are in your, in your um, build or gradle file is going to just migrate all of them to Android X for you. When you set it to true. So I'm done with that. So I'll click on sync now. So what we also need to know is that uh, with the Android X, the prefix of the libraries come starts with Android X. So Android X dot maybe um, widget dot the, the the name of the library. So if I'm using coordinator layout, the name of the widget. Sorry, if I'm using coordinator layout, you have Android X dot widget dot coordinator layout. It follows that pattern, so you always see Android X as the very first word of it. Mm, this thing is taking a while, so it's migrating it for me. And it's already, it hasn't yet started migration, but then it's just downloading the necessary libraries since I included that in my read out of properties file
we are done syncing our grader with the project so the next thing we need to do is just to go to refactor and then go to migrate to android x so that's what i'm saying you need if you don't have migrate to android x on your android studio that means you need to update your android studio to 3.2 or higher so we click on that and then it says before proceeding we need we recommend you to back up your project so in case you are working on a big project and you want to uh, either revert back if you ended up having an issue with android x you need to back up the p project but then if you're working on a small project and you can just go back well you don't need to but then i i recommend that you always back up your project so that in case you need to go back you can go back but i wouldn't be doing this for this project so i'll just click on migrate so it's going to and um, we could refactor this constraint layout to have android x constraint layout so we do the refactor here so make sure you need to make sure you have your internet connection on for this or you wouldn't be able to successfully migrate to your project okay so it's done migrating for us we need to check our project to ensure that it was able to refactor all the necessary files for us so i'll go and check my activities file you can see that it wasn't able to update some of the um packages for us so we need to do it manually and uh, let me go to also my layout file so i'll close others so i'll have to come and change the names wasn't able to update them manually for me so i need to head on to uh i'll go to android x here I'll go to this page so this page this link um, gives you information about migrating to Android X and it tells you the old <coughs> build artifacts libraries and the new ones so let's see with this one like this all these ones will change to android because they are part of the design the support libraries the app compass support libraries that you can see here this one this one was this one was first app compass support and all these ones so this one was this one was material design library which has now changed to combo google to android blah 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 so we need to also change it in our layout file before we do the same in our um java file So I'll look for coordinator layout here and see the new. So come on support the design that coordinator the new one is Android X blah blah blah. So we'll copy this one and paste it here. The same is going to apply to you can see that the project wasn't there are some things missing here because we're now using Android X. So we also have to change this up bar layout to support android x i'll put it here i'll look for it okay use this one paste it here we also have to change the same for the toolbar so the toolbar now uses this paste it here um this also has an issue, so I'll copy it. I 
apply it here. Oops, what did I just do? Alrighty, you can see that everything is coming back. It's falling in place. Aha. With the button, we don't need to do anything with the button. And um, so we now go back to our Android uh, a Java activity. And we make a change. So this is now Android X. That's blah, blah, blah. So you can see now the error the error vanished from here. We do the same thing to main file. Let me see if I have anything in my so I have so with my activity main it was able to change my constraint layout to use Android X. So sometimes it doesn't manually do it doesn't automatically do everything for you. You need to do some of them manually. So that's the downside. Or maybe uh, my Android Studio is kind of outdated. 3.3 I need to update to the 3.4 so I'm sure with the 3.4 you can it wouldn't give you this hassle uh, I'll do the same for sign up um, sign up sign up sign up okay updated it so I'll come back here and change it okay i think i'm done i don't have uh, any design stuff here that way that was changed to android x so in order for me to be sure that everything is working fine i'll just do a build i'll rebuild my project to ensure that i don't have any errors sitting up or lying anywhere okay so my prayer was able to build successfully with no errors that means i was able to successfully migrate my prayer to android x so if you like this video make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys in another one thank you and peace out